Hey, this is Larry Janeski from Dr. Energy Saver. Uh, I want to show you a radiant heating system that we have in the floor of this building, uh, both in the concrete slab and in the wood floor above. This is a high efficiency uh, boiler that will create hot water. It will circulate it through these tubes that go down into the floor through these uh, plastic pipe loops that are cast in the floor. So obviously that, this has to be uh, installed as the floor is being poured because what we're gonna do is warm this slab and that heat is gonna rise up and heat the room uh, that the slab is in. And this is very comfortable, very even heat for a couple of reasons. Why? Well, because when you're standing here in this concrete floor, and this concrete slab is covered right now because they're gonna be spray foaming this room. Uh, but when you're standing here, the heat is from below. And we all know heat rises. And so the heat, it warms your feet. And there's a saying, if your feet are warm, you know, your whole body is warm and it's very comfortable. But it rises up and, and warms everything in the room. Whereas if you had um, a hot air system just blowing warm air out of ducts in the top of uh, this room, the, you would have some segregation. You would have uh, warmer air at the top of the room and cold at the bottom and the slab is very cold and you're standing on the slab, it's the surface of the room that you're in contact with most and you feel cold. So having a nice warm radiant heated concrete floor is a real benefit. Further, there's a lot of thermal mass in this slab, which means that the concrete slab weighs a lot and it stores a lot of energy. And when these garage doors are opened temporarily in the winter, uh, you don't have all your heat just rushing out. Sure, the, the warm air goes out, cold air comes in, but as soon as you close the door, the recovery rate is very good because you have all this thermal mass that's still warm and that heat rises up and warms the uh, air in the room and the recovery rate is very, very quick. Here we have another room, again, radiant heated slab, and we have a uh, warm water line coming in which splits into several loops inside this slab and then we return lines coming back, uh, going back to the boiler. And here's another room that'll be very warm and very comfortable for its occupants. Now let's take a look at how the radiant heating system is gonna heat the upstairs, which is a wood floor. And if we take a look, we can see the hot water lines going into an aluminum uh, T-track there. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna warm that aluminum. Aluminum is very thermally conductive, and that aluminum is in contact with the wood subfloor. And that will warm that subfloor and we'll have heat rising up from the wood subfloor. If this was a unheated space underneath, we would be very concerned about heat being lost downward by conduction if, uh, if it's a slab on grade. In fact, these slabs here have insulation under them, so heat isn't lost to the ground so much. Um, and you can see in some of these bays, uh, we have put a a radiant barrier to reflect that heat upward to that uh, subfloor. And another thing you can do is on top of this radiant barrier is you can spray foam, which we're gonna be doing, but not so much for the thermal uh, issue because this is gonna be heated space underneath it as well, but for soundproofing. Let's take a look at the room upstairs. Here's one big finished room over that uh, garage space underneath and this whole wood floor which is going to be hardwood is going to be heated from underneath and it's going to provide nice warm comfortable heat for the people that are up here and make this room incredibly comfortable and usable especially when you consider these walls and ceilings will be spray foamed and that heat will stay inside this building envelope for a long time and we won't have drafts and con convective loops from cold exterior surfaces competing with the heat coming up from the floor and uh, we're going to have a very comfortable space and this homeowner is going to be very happy. This is the chimney from the high efficiency wall hung boiler that's heating those radiant floors and it's so efficient that uh, 
the exhaust that it's putting out is only 94 degrees compared to 420 degrees that might go up a chimney from a standard efficiency combustion appliance. And this is not smoke, this is just steam. And it is 10 degrees out right now. That's why there's so much steam, but uh, normally you wouldn't, you wouldn't have this much steam, but very efficient so we can exhaust it through the sidewall of the building. All right, the masons are just finishing up some uh, stonework in here and we can see the floor and the radiant heat is on. Let's take a look with a thermal imaging camera and we can see the lines uh, formed by the warm heat pipes cast in the concrete slab. And that is 83, 86 degrees in, in spots and we have a nice warm even heat in that floor rising to warm you. You know when your feet are warm, you are warm. And if we open the door and the heat goes out, we close the door and the recovery rate is very good because we have a lot of thermal mass rising up from the floor evenly. Beautiful heat. All right, the guys have installed the oak floor over the radiant heated floor and it looks beautiful. And the homeowners that occupy this space will feel toasty and cozy as their feet are warm and uh, heat is rising evenly throughout the entire floor up to make everybody comfortable. That combined with all the spray foam that we installed in this building will make it very warm, very comfortable and energy efficient. If you have a home that you'd like to make more comfortable, more energy efficient, or you'd like to install a radiant heating system, call Dr. Energy Saver. We'd love to help you.